Welcome everyone to the July TDL member forum. My name is Christy Park. I'm in the, I'm the executive director of the Texas Digital Library. And we will begin today as we normally do with our land acknowledgement, um, acknowledging the physical places from which we join all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. TDL staff work fully remotely. We all join from various places around, uh, around the country. I joined from Austin in Central Texas where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. I invite you to share your own land acknowledgements in chat if you'd like to. We'll follow our usual agenda. Uh, as, today. Um, I'm joined by our Deputy Director Courtney Muma and Outreach Coordinator um, Kiara Hunt in providing updates today. Many thanks to Megan Hernandez for managing our slide deck and a special welcome to any other TDL staff who are in the audience today. I'll start with some director updates. Um, and primarily, I want to give a little bit of a report and update on a recent conference um, that TDL attended and presented at. Um, earlier in June, our lead DSpace developer, Nick Woodward, and I traveled to the International Conference on Open Repositories in Gothenburg, Sweden to present on TDL's journey of upgrading 20 plus repositories to DSpace version 7. And we were joined there by more than 400 colleagues from all over the world dedicated to building and sustaining open access and open source digital repositories. Um, among those colleagues were quite a few from Texas. You can see here, Nick, with our pal James Creel, Director of Digital and Scholarly Initiatives at Texas A&M University. He was there with several other A&M folks, Doug Hahn and, and, um, and Derek Halling were there from A&M. Uh, Colleen Lyon, the head of Skullcom at UT Libraries, presented on using DSpace 7 as an outreach opportunity. Dustin Slater from UT presented on their work with Fedora 6. And Santi Thompson uh, from the University of Houston Libraries represented the Texas Data Repository Steering Committee, leading a roundtable discussion on research data retention policies. There were also folks from Rice University there, the Texas Advanced Computing Center, and many, many of our partners and friends around the world. Um, it was a really wonderful conference and always is. Unfortunately, because of some <laughs> severe flight delays for me, uh, Nick had to present for both of us uh, and did an absolutely fantastic job by all accounts. And I was also part um, representing the Global DSpace Steering Group um, on a panel about the new DSpace version 8. So we had really some wonderful opportunities to connect with folks do, doing repository work, both at the institutional level and consortially like TDL does. And we're already putting some of what we learned to work. So we'll put some links in chat to some of the presentations from our TDL community at, at Open Repository so you can take a look. And I want to encourage you um, to think about if you have travel funding next year to consider Open Repositories. This is a really great community and conference. Next year, it will be a little easier to get to. It will be in Chicago, June 15th through 18th. So um, I hope we'll have a an, another good um, uh, representation from uh, Texas Digital Library community there next year. Okay. We'll move on to services and project updates, starting with our digital repository hosting service. Uh, in August, um, 
Nick Woodward and I will be working with folks at UT San Antonio on a very limited month-long pilot project to further explore using the new entities framework in DSpace within TDL hosted repositories. This new framework could allow for creation of things like author profile records that connect faculty members to the items they've deposited in the repository. So some um, exciting potential there. We'll have more updates on this project as we get started in August, and, and we'll discuss it further also at the next couple of DSpace users group meetings. In the meantime, uh, we're also preparing for upgrading all of our hosted repositories to DSpace version 8. 8.0 was released in late June, but in alignment with TDL's usual practice, we're waiting for the 8.1 release before we finalize plans for upgrades, just so we can incorporate any of the big bug fixes that inevitably follow um, a, major, a major version release. So we'll have more on that. Um, we'll have a firmer timeline on that. Uh, later on, but right now we're we're planning for fall um, for those upgrades. If you're interested in learning more about DSpace 8, the Global DSpace program is hosting a Q&A session on July 31st. So if you'd like to hear more about that version, ask any questions, I encourage you to attend that. We'll put some links in chat to registration for that event, as well as a Q&A document that you can use to um, get to queue up your questions about DSpace 8. Uh, and finally, a reminder about the DSpace North American Users Group meeting in September at the University of Minnesota. Registration is open for that event and hotel info will be coming soon. We'll be sharing uh, more about all of this at the next DSpace Users Group meeting, which is on Monday, this coming Monday, July 22nd at 3 p.m. All right, uh, moving on to open access journal hosting, I uh, just want to note that our upgrades of all of our 75 plus um, journal sites to version 3.4 are substantially complete with one exception. We are waiting on a bug fix um, to be able to upgrade one last site and we'll do so once development on that is complete. So. Um, Many thanks to Nick Woodward for leading that project. Our next OJS users group meeting is August 1st. Um, so we, we skipped our July meeting because it was on Independence Day. So we'll be looking forward to seeing that group again soon. With that, I will hand it over to Courtney for a few more updates. Howdy, just a few updates. Um, first for Vireo Electronic Thesis and Dissertation System, um, Frank Smutniak, our Vireo lead developer, has been working on some infrastructure adjustments, and he's doing that to align the way that TDL manages our Vireo hosting service with other TDL services. Soon he'll be reaching out to each Vireo hosting member for minor upgrades so that we can get all of our production versions on the same number with those same infrastructure changes. Additionally, our product manager, Christopher Starcher, has begun refining our online user documentation for Vireo 4, so expect to see some changes over the next couple of months, and we'll provide a link to that user documentation here in chat. Next up, um, the Digital Preservation Interest Group is having our quarterly meeting tomorrow. Alongside our other regular agenda of updates, resource sharing, and mutual support of each other, <clears throat> we'll be discussing a TDL effort to launch a peer auditing project. Um, this is really exciting, so please bring your ideas, your interests, and any questions you have, um, and I'm hoping for a very good discussion. Finally, um, for our DPLA harvesting, the July harvest is currently in progress, and we have added many more collections from UT Dallas, Houston Public Library, and also Rice. We look forward to seeing more of these members' collections in the national context inclusion in the DPLA. Um, sorry, in the national context that inclusion in the DPLA provides. Um, I'm going to put a link, uh, or there it is already, a text hub link, which is our DPLA local site, so that you can see all of the um, collections that we have harvested from our members combined with all of those from UNT. 
So next, we're going to move into our community updates with our outreach coordinator, Kiara Hunt. Hi, everyone. So I'm excited to share a few of our community updates and upcoming events that we have with you all. So first up, happening today from 3 to 4 p.m., you can join the GIS interest group for an hour of GIS learning and fun. Alex Martin, um, the GIS and geospatial data coordinator with the UT Libraries, will lead a webinar entitled Fundamentals and Emerging Trends of GIS Data. Um, you'll also get to play a game of GeoGuessr, which is a geography game um, that takes you on a journey around the world and challenges your ability to recognize your surroundings. So that sounds like super fun. Um, more details about the webinar will be added to the chat. Next, please mark your calendars for Open Texas 2024, happening September 25th or 27th. The conference will be fully online and it is free to attend. Um, the theme for this year's conference is Global Horizons of Open Education, The View from Texas. And the 2024 Open Texas Conference is jointly organized by Texas Digital Library and the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, which convenes faculty, librarians, administrators, and other open education practitioners, researchers, and advocates in Texas. You can see the link in the chat so you don't miss out on any news and updates from the conference and so that you can register to attend. Alrighty, next, don't miss the 2024 STEM Librarian South Conference. The 14th annual meeting will offer excellent learning opportunities for professionals at all levels of STEM librarianship. This year's theme is Share, Teach, Explore, and Make. The call for proposals is now open, whether you are um, sharing best practices, teaching new skills, exploring emerging technologies, or making impactful contributions to your community. You're encouraged to submit your proposals that highlight your passion and expertise. And you can learn more about that in the chat. I am very excited to announce that it's time to save the date for TCDL 2025, which is happening May 20th through 22nd. The conference will be once again held at the Commons Conference Center in Austin, Texas. If you're interested in joining the planning committee, um, you can please see our call for committee members to learn more about responsibilities and different um, timelines for different subcommittees. One of the earliest and my personal favorite tasks is developing the theme for the conference. So you will be able to help us plan that. We'll include the link in the chat so you can submit your interests. And we ask that the deadline um, is Friday, 20, July 26 at 5 p.m. so that we can start um, the early planning procedures. We look forward to working with you and planning next year's conference. Okay, so here's a snapshot of upcoming meetings and events happening at TDL. These meetings and events are free and open to anyone, you're, and you're always welcome to invite your campus partners and non-TDL member colleagues and your network to join us. So first up, we have today, again, the Midsummer GIS Spotlight Data and Games happening at 3 p.m. On Thursday, July 18th at 2 p.m., we have the Digital Preservation Interest Group. On Monday, July 22nd at three, we have the DSpace user group meeting. And on Friday, July 26th at 2 p.m., we have the GIS interest group meeting. So you can check out more of our events in the chat. And then we also have our August What's Happening also available. And speaking of August What's Happening, we would like to highlight the upcoming TDL imaging group online meeting happening on Thursday, August 8th from two to 3 p.m. A little bit of background, the mission of TDL Imaging Group is to create and exchange information on both basic and advanced digital imaging and digitization best practices, in addition to establishing an open and inclusive environment for the exchange of information regionally within the state of Texas and surrounding areas. So during this meeting, the Imaging Group leadership team, which is chaired by Marcia McIntosh from the University of North Texas, will launch the following initiatives. The first one is developing a resource list of imaging documentation on the group wiki. The second one is conducting a state of imaging in Texas survey. And the third is meeting periodically um, for open floor time and quiet documentation creation. So if you're interested in joining the imaging group, please see the lister that will be shared in the chat and um, all the updates for the upcoming meetings for this group. 
Okay, so don't miss the latest TDO news and updates. We have different announcements on our social media channels, which are all listed here. And you can also visit our website at tdo.org and follow us on our um, bi-monthly newsletter. And we'll also share that link in the chat as well. This is all part of our Get Involved with TDO um, so that you all can stay in the loop. And those are all of the community updates for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please email us at info at tdl.org and I'll hand things back over to Christy. Thanks everyone. Awesome, thanks Kira and thanks Courtney for those updates. I noticed in chat there's some uh, problem getting access to the Vireo 4 documentation. I'm gonna put a link in chat just in case it's it works better for folks, but um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, so, me either. We started using the public links recently, so um, I'll look into it, but thank you for putting the older link. Yeah. Well, um, we do have some time for questions. If anybody has additional questions, um, you can put those in chat or raise your hand and we'll call on you. Um, we also have our anonymous feedback form linked to on the slide here, and uh, Kira has put a link to that in chat. So if you'd like to make an anonymous comment or ask a question anonymously, you can do that there. And we'll try to address it in the in a future forum. I'm just going to pause for a minute while folks gather their thoughts. And while you're doing that, I thought of one other thing I wanted to mention in the context primarily of DSpace hosting, but also journal hosting a little bit too. And that is that we've, we're experiencing right now a increase in bot traffic and harvesting traffic. And so we're experimenting and testing out some tools for managing that more effectively, particularly on a handful of DSpace repositories. Um, so if you were monitoring that, tweaking those tools as necessary to get them to work effectively, but if you do see anything unusual um, in terms of, you know, you're getting errors or anything like that, please let us know so that um, we can address those concerns. So I meant to put that on that digital repository hosting slide and forgot to do it. I am not seeing any questions in the chat and I don't see any raised hands so we'll go ahead and call it for today thanks for joining us today we appreciate your time um, and we look forward to seeing you in uh, many TDL meetings and events over the next month until we meet again in August hope everybody's having a great summer and uh, we'll see you again soon take care <music>